Hello everyone, my name is Rabeb and I am a product manager with the Microsoft Graph team. This is the second session of the series we are doing around Postman and the Microsoft Graph collection. I do apologize, I couldn't make it last week, but the week before my colleague um, Sebastian Levert, he did the intro session and he went through uh, some of the basics around Postman, uh, how to use the echo collection with Postman, just so you can get used to Postman in case you're not. And then um, he went through the collection, the Microsoft Graph collection, the I think the seven or eight steps that you need to set up everything you need and be up and running. I highly recommend uh, this session. Again, if you're not familiar with Postman or if you've never used uh, our Microsoft Graph collection, this is really useful session. I'll, I have it on my browser, so I'll make sure uh, after my presentation, I'll make sure to leave all the links that you need on the chat. Uh, and what I'm planning to do today is just continue from that, and we're going to look at some of the useful features within Postman and how you can take advantage of them while you're using the Microsoft Graph collection and testing the different APIs. Be running that. So uh, first, just a quick uh, reminder and for everyone on the call who are not familiar with Postman. Postman is a developer tool. Uh, it is an API platform where you can build APIs, test with the APIs. It's really rich on features and uh, it allows for very advanced scenarios, collaborations, etc. It's it's a really great place to start um, if you're like working with APIs. And uh, one of the uh, amazing features on Postman is collections, which is basically a collection is a, a set of requests together. They are collected into uh, nice folders and uh, you can do different things with them. The good news is we do have a collection for Microsoft Graph, uh, so the collection you know, it comes in with predefined endpoints, uh, some variables that you can use to run the requests, etc. Again, aka.ms slash graph slash postman. That's where you can find all the details on how you can fork the collection, set up everything you need, uh, get an application on the Azure Active Directory so you have the right permissions, etc. I will make sure I have all the links for you. And that is all the uh, PowerPoint uh, we will need for today. So now if I do share my browser so we can take a look at the actual platform, which is uh, Postman. Uh, da, 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 da. Is this the one I need? I think so. Um, so uh, here I am. I am on Postman. This is my own workspace. I already did for the Microsoft Graph collection. And as you can see, uh, it's here. It's nicely organized in uh, delegated and application uh, two folders, depending on the uh, type of permission you need, and then the different things that you can do. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to look at uh, some features with Postman that I think they are really useful, and then I'm going to look at something else as well with Graph Explorer. Now, the first thing I want to highlight here, we keep adding new resources and new endpoints to Microsoft Graph all the time. So maybe, you know, there is a new API added that you want to test, but it's not on the Microsoft Graph collection yet or it could be that it's something that used to be in beta and then it's in v1 uh, and we didn't update the collection yet and i think uh, this is a good time for me to make a public promise that we will do a better job at making sure the microsoft graph collection on postman gets updated regularly i promise <laughs> it's recorded so so that's that's definitely gonna happen but in case for whatever reason you might need to add another request to what's already available on the collection that is actually possible. So if we go here on these three dots, I guess it's known as the kebab menu, you can see uh, among some of the things you can do with the collection is you can add a request. 
Now, my collection is nicely organized into folders, and I don't want just to drop a request anywhere. Luckily, you can do the same thing uh, with any subfolder. So if I go to any of these subfolders, I can see that I want to add uh, a request. Now, for the sake of this demo, I'm like, OK, I want to make sure I'm adding a new request, but it's not already available on the collection. So what I want is I went to aka.ms slash graph slash changelog because we do have this in case you don't know about it. We always use this course to remind you of all the tools and cool features that we have and that you can use. And I was just checking what did we add very recently that is not available on the collection and that I can use for my demo. And turns out there is this checklist item resource that is recently added to the to do tasks API. So if I click on this item, I know I can go to the documentation and I can see everything uh, related to it and I can get the request that I want to add to the collection. But I am slightly lazy. I also happen to be the PM for Graph Explorer. So any excuse to use Graph Explorer and to show you how cool it is. And I know for a fact that I can find that request on Graph Explorer. Now, if you've never seen this resources tab before, and if you have no idea what that is, just wait a second. We're going to come back to this in details in a few minutes. But here is my request because I have it over there, and I'm going to take it. I'm going to lazily copy that, and I'm going to go to this folder called Tasks, and I'm going to say, I want to add a request. Here, I'm going to copy this first. These are my params, so I'm going to make sure they are highlighted as such. The one. And I might want to call this something nicer, which is get to task. Was it the uh, checklist items? Something like that. Now, because these are params, it says here that it's unresolved variable, so there is no value for the co uh, for postman to run the request with. You can add these, you can add a new variable if it's not predefined with the uh, collection. I'm not going to do this at the moment. This is just to show you how you can add a new request. If I um, click save, I can check here that this item is added. And as you can see, you need to define the right variables. And the more I think about it, probably it's better. It's a better idea if we just keep the original collection up to date. But just in case, in the extreme cases, you do need to, to add one of your own requests to the collection. Now you know that this option is available for you. Now, the second thing I want to show with collections is the collection runner. Basically, the collection runner is a nice feature that allows you to run the requests within the collection in a sequence. So there is a specific order on how to run the request. This is really great if you want to test your collection and even uh, be like run the collection, do some testing. You can even connect that to your uh, CI CD pipeline using Newman, which I just learned it's a command line tool from Postman to run collections. So if I come here, I can see run collection. And in here, because I selected run collection on the main uh, Microsoft Graph collection, every single request available on the collection will show on here and it's selected. There are a few settings that you can set on the runner. For example, iterations, uh, which is how many times do you want to run this collection automatically? You can set it to one, you can set it to more than once. The delay is do you want 
the requests to run immediately one after the other, or is there a specific delay between every two requests? You might even select a JSON or a CSV file if you need to inject some data. Or uh, let's say between iterations, you want to change the values of the data you're running the requests against. Again, there are like some advanced settings. Do you want to save your responses so you can see them on the logs? The viable values here, uh, do you want them to persist, especially if you have different iterations, or do you want in the next iteration to take like the current value, etc., or if you need cookies? Um, now, I'm not going to run this one. I personally don't see the value in running everything we have on the collection unless it's for the sake of testing. You might have like a perfectly reasonable scenario and I would love to hear about it. But instead, because I can do the same thing on subfolders, so instead I'm going to go to the subfolder because maybe I want to do on a specific set of tasks. So if I go and say run folder, I see the same. It's exactly uh, the same view and I can do the same setups. Now you don't have to run everything on a folder. You can manually select items. So I'm going to keep it to the get. Otherwise it will get a little upset. And the other thing is, again, remember the runner runs them into a, a sequence, so you might want to change the order if that's something you want to do. And then if I say run, what will happen? It will run this and it's shown me exactly the request that I did run. And then if I click on one of them, I can see some details like what's in the header, Yes, I did forget. So here what happened is I did forget to set this to save responses. No, it's this one actually. Yeah, let's see. Let's do this again. Run this folder and because I didn't say save responses, that's why I couldn't see them again. Let me just uncheck this. And if I run this. Now in theory, yes. I should see something in my response. Let's see. This is the, re the response body. I'm using my developer account. So this is some just dummy data that I'm using for testing. But I can see I have uh, things in here. Now, this is not particularly. I also set up a test. You can set up some tests against your collections if that's something you need. This is not very practical in like real life. You don't want to be moving the order manually, etc. But what we can do, you can set up scripts to change the order or even to pass data between requests. So basically you can do all of that with writing a pre-request scripts and setting workflows. And if this is something of interest, I'm happy to come back uh, after the summer break and we can do a session on that, like more advanced session on scripts and workflows. I owe you a session from last week anyway, so we can definitely do that. Now again, this is really nice and there is everything from Microsoft Graph and it's really organized in a nice way. But maybe you want something that is more tailored to your needs or more scenario based. Maybe you want to run something that is a mix, like something related to a user, but also it's related to teams. I want to get a user or a group of users and then for that group of users I want to see I don't know maybe the teams they joined or I want to add them to different teams so and again instead of manually selecting each one what if you can create a customized post name collection from the graph Microsoft graph APIs and you still can use it with postman for that I'm gonna go to Graph Explorer. On here, on Graph Explorer, very recently, we added the Resources Explorer. Resources Explorer, as the name says, will show you every single resource available with Microsoft Graph on V1 or on Beta. 
literally everything. And what you can do is you can choose to add them to a collection. This is a Postman collection. We will be adding more in the future, but for now the collection is a Postman collection. So to make this very quickly, I just added few things. This is what I added to the collection, and then I can say download the Postman collection. And it should be downloaded. And if I go very quickly to Postman, I can say import and I'm going to upload the file and I'm going to go. I have old um, collections that I'm going to use and I'm going to say open this and immediately it shows me that my collection is a Postman collection. I can call it whatever I want and I say import and it is adding this in here and you can see everything on that collection is in here and this is more customized and more tailored to your needs and with that i'm gonna turn back to Faisa. thank you very much and uh, again let me know if we want um, a further session on this thank you excellent thank you rabeb on that one really really cool stuff mm -hmm.